This is the moment, this is the place. We are opening the era of direct aviation. If you had a blank sheet of paper, you would not design the air transportation system that we have today. We've created this hub and spoke world where the air is a hard thing to use to connect. You have to leave three hours before the flight, so if you're going less than about 150 miles, you just drive. It's a real pain. Everybody has had to drive hours to an airport, fight through security, and wait at the gate, and fly up and circle and land, and then get in the car and drive 45 more minutes more where you really want to be. That's such a hard path to get where you want to go. Of the 30 airports in the United States that handle 70% of the traffic, we're creating these clogged arteries. I'm excited that we're gonna be able to open up this world where people get to go where they wanna go so much more easily. At Electra, we are opening the era of direct aviation. We've built this two-seat demonstrator that you see behind us. We call it the EL2, and we've been flying it to prove out all of the technology that goes into the EL9. The EL9 will bring back the day of point-to-point -point travel, and that eliminates the congestion that you see in those big hubs. The EL9 will get into places that people don't think of as airports, things like docks, or parking garages, any place the size of a soccer field will be able to use as an airport type destination. It's taken off in as little as 120 feet. That's the game changer. That's what direct aviation is all about. This new era of flight is suddenly possible because hybrid electric propulsion in the center of this vehicle can distribute the propellers, eight propellers on the wing of the airplane. That's what enables us to blow the wing in the way that creates extraordinary lift, fools the wing, makes it think it's going faster than it actually is. This is not just a theory. We've been flying the EL2 for the last year and a half. The blown lift is what allows the very slow speeds and thus the very short takeoff and landing. It's proving that we know how to do this extraordinarily hard thing, to fly a fixed wing airplane as slow as 20 knots. Today, we're flying the EL2. Now we gotta pull that technology forward to the EL9, this nine-seat airplane that can take nine passengers plus two pilots and bags and golf clubs and skis and deliver them to where passengers wanna go. Using it will be a lot more like calling an Uber today. You can take out your mobile phone, order a flight, get on the airplane, and you'll go where you're headed. The market is speaking with a loud voice that this is an airplane that they want. The most common thing we hear is, how soon can I get it? We applied to the FAA several years ago to be a part of their Emergent Technologies program, and we've now been working with them around this airplane. What's really helpful about that is that as we come into the certification process now, it's a well-known process. This is a Part 23 certification, which is the existing pathway for passenger fixed-wing airplanes. So we like our path. We think our path is simpler. We think it's practical. We've got provisional orders for over 2,200 airplanes. That's a $13 billion backlog. This is the team that is opening the era of direct aviation.